Morning. This is Arnie Waters here in Boston. Gold trading uh, essentially unchanged from yesterday. Uh, we're thinking gold is going to stay within this trading range for the next little while. Uh, but we've seen a tremendous uh, report indicating that, uh, according to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, that gold is getting net longs. That is, people are buying, and this is the first time in a month that we've seen speculative buying in gold. Uh, gold, as I said, is getting net longs. Platinum, group metal, silver, and copper are all losing net longs, or they're getting sell-type uh, responses. Uh, we've got resistance here at 1699. It's a very important resistance, so if we get through 1699, uh, we may be heading toward the up move, but our current view is that gold is going to be in uh, somewhat range-bound over the next little while due to so many economic uncertainties, not least of which are the French and German elections coming up. Uh, Nouriel Roubini says that in order for the Europeans to compete, they must have the euro equal to the dollar. Uh, as you know, European uh, goods are way too expensive, and given the austerity budgets that have been imposed uh, on most of the troubled areas of Europe, which is most everybody except Germany, um, the reality is that um, these prices will prevent the European material from being competitive in a worldwide price basis. Uh, and added to this is the fact that the austerity, which is very similar to the uh, approach recommended by a nameless United States party, uh, will make the recession worse. And we do not see the Europeans coming out of recession for four or five years. So anything that makes that worse heading to seven to ten years is just not a wise public policy, but it is the policy. Uh, and as we look also at Europe, uh, given the strength of uh, certain elements in society, uh, we may well see extended periods of socio-political unrest due to this austerity. Uh, remember, as much as people talk about uh, our practices here, uh, over there they live in a completely deluded socialist world, and they're being taken out of that world and put back into reality. And a lot of people are neither equipped nor interested in being equipped uh, to deal with this uh, new situation. Uh, our last area will turn to our favorite subject, China. It appears now that there has been serious infighting at the top in the Politburo, in the State Security Ministry. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not the Politburo, it's something else, But because they're not really communists. Uh, they're really some kind of friendly little, uh, <coughs> like Asian Mr. Rogers. Oh, I guess they're not. They really are hardcore communists with Stalinists and Maoists still in significant roles. So uh, what we will expect to see is uh, people fighting the rate of change. You see, the Chinese have maintained a delusion that somehow they're going to have a managed form of capitalism, that they're going to have a managed meld of Copy of capitalism and communism. And uh, that's completely incorrect because people want to be free. And the Chinese are paying prices for that now. And we expect the infighting at whatever junta that they call themselves that are ruling China will continue apace and will have negative effects as the Chinese economy weakens. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Thanks.